Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. We're gonna check out a game that is a demo that is available on itch.io Spell Blaster. It is a retro inspired top-down adventure game and I'm really excited about this. It looks really good and we're gonna jump in here and take a look. So let's do what the screen tells us to do and press the start button. So we got adventures options so let's see this is a demo so i'm curious yeah so we got music sound effect and controls gives you a basic move is your left it looks like your left stick maybe i would think and then got spell back and confirm attack that's pretty good we got some dodge rolls and the switch spells so that's kind of neat as well so that's a nice little thing to see right up front to see both the gamepad controls and the keyboard controls right up front. And I'm always curious in a demo exactly what they have done here. And then we could even do a full screen if we wanted to. But let's go in here. There we got a extras and verses locked off. I'm kind of curious what those are going to be. But let's jump in here and see what the adventure is all about. Let's do a new game. The lands of Merida were once peaceful and serene. That does not look peaceful or serene. But one day, strange crystals began appearing from the ground. Along with these dark shards, monsters arrived and plunged the world into chaos. I love that huge skeleton up there. That's pretty cool. I like the artwork already. Now a new hero stands ready to put an end to the crisis. Okay, so yeah, we got an attack. Press right to continue. Okay, so we got some attack, a spell, and then we could do a dodge roll as well. And we need to destroy the dark shards on each stage to win. Okay, interesting. Start, let's go. Okay, where are we? We are in the Greenwoods Zone Stage 1. Okay, well, I guess what we got is to start the stage. Okay, so we need to get over to that crystal over there. And I am thinking kind of, what is this? Uh, it's giving me a game here, and I can't think of the name of it. Like, right off the bat, I'm feeling a game theme here, or a game idea, and I can't remember the inspiration that I'm thinking of, but there is something here and I'm liking it. So we could do that. We can, what we, so, so we got that. Where's our, okay, that's our spell. What's our roll? I can't seem to roll right now. And we should have maybe extra, oh, there's my roll. Okay. Does these do anything? Don't seem to do anything yet. My roll is that, which seems a little odd, but okay. This little mushroom over here seems to refill my, oof, I ran into the tree. Oh, maybe standing, or, oh, I thought the mushroom did it, and maybe it's a timed thing. I need to get a key, it looks like, gold key required. Okay, well, let's see if we can go find a gold key. Oh. That's kind of nice. I like, oh, he found me. He saw me run. <laughs> he saw me. No, come on, get it. Ah, oh, cannot hit that. Oh, I like the little skull thing that flips up when they, when I hit something. Maybe this is gonna be it. Oh, come on, get it. No, it does have, seems, oh, I can't get close enough to smack him. A 360 movement here. It does not look like I'm confined to any kind of grid, which is nice. Let's see if there's anything under these rocks. Okay, nothing. Okay, well, we can go up. Or no, we came from up. We go down, left, or right. Let's go left. Ew, we got cannons. That's not cool, but we can destroy the bushes. That's going to help. The roll probably would help us there as oh, I so didn't expect that. I was expecting a button to open something not up, not a little trampoline. Oh, I think he's not happy that I'm here. Let's see if we can kill him really quick with our magic. 
there we go so this is gonna pop us up over there Get a couple more coins oh we got something it looks like it doesn't seem we could switch our magic in it. oh wait can i go maybe i should go down this way and see what is down ooh, we got a little red something there that didn't do exactly what i was expecting it oh i know what i'm gonna have to hmm okay so i can break through these rocks and these are going to be one of those switches that changes the red and blue that's what we need to do so we flip that over and we can go down now Ooh, a question mark i'm not sure i like the idea of the question mark dodge rolling will help you solve problems okay so i was i was wondering if it was a question mark like what is going to happen or a question mark like is it going to help me i was trying to figure out what that question mark did okay can i just burn these little bush guys okay i like these little bush guys okay we got that oh we picked up another something that's kind of neat we have a oh shoot how are we gonna do this to get to that that'll pop me back up if i flip that it'll switch down hmm and it always flips me up that way no matter what now i'm going to have to find a way in there like this i think if i'm reading this right but i'm not sure the best way to do that if i had a different magic or something maybe i could do a delay thing but she did say roll no it's a pretty instant thing there's no way i can roll over that to get it okay let's see what else there is then it but it's right there that seems really odd dodge rolling will help you solve problems i just that happens too instantaneously for me to even get over here i just find it odd that that statement is put there i feel that that should help me in this square but maybe not let's go see if we can find something else we go we could flip this one back and that'll let us to go i wonder if there's a map or something and we got to pause but that's about it it doesn't seem so far there doesn't seem to be a map but i'd really like to have a map but maybe that's part of the trick of it that you need to what does this do charge pads will recharge player health and energy and that looks like what that is that's cool i mean a little checkpoint there there's a gr a silver key i was gonna say gray so we got silver and gold key and that looks like a silver key is needed as well interesting i'm liking the puzzle adventure style of this but this is going to be a little bit more difficult than i originally thought so you can roll let's i could jump back up over here oh i got hit by the cannon that's not good there was another way over there i wonder if this just takes me this takes me into that which could prove useful i wonder what this gold coinage is for as well okay, we got a pumpkin that like ouch shoots at me okay so that guy's gonna be a toughie i'm gonna have to range fire him it looks like ouch wow yeah he's gonna be yeah but, oh that's cool little magic heal there let's see if we can get him in the back there that would be really nice here we go okay so it does oh we got meat too cool it does look like there are some doors that open based on enemy and having the skull on that door makes it pretty obvious i think right off that's what it needed to be oh we got a silver key but i'm not gonna waste it on this one what i'm gonna do is actually take the long way back around i think that would be a better idea and if we can go pop over there and come around this way 
then we don't have to worry about wasting that one silver key on that door let's go ahead and heal myself back up yep i like that i like that little healing point that's cool so now i could use the silver key here here we go now yeah i lost the silver key so you use a silver key for each door it's not like it will be one silver key that opens everything okay so yeah see you see the little skull there that makes me think that it is going to be i have to kill everything and we're gonna have to see if we can get this guy dead as quickly and easily as possible there we go i'm not sure if we can roll over to get that coin or not but i'm not gonna risk it is this a gold key awesome so i wonder if that was the trick there is to make it so that you don't waste that key there there is another treasure chest down here but i'm not sure how you would get i still don't know or i'm not sure how one would get this treasure chest here you could you could roll at a diagonal too that's pretty cool still that's there i really how would rolling help me oh can i do oh this is silly okay so we ah, okay i got it i got it so we go shoot that's what we need to do we need to shoot and then roll down there we go i got it figured out we got another key there and then we get back out that way okay that makes sense on how to defeat that oh no it switched the wrong way no flip that i was like there has to be a way to do that in that world because that's giving me that roll hint there and i was like wow that seemed a little too tricky almost or a way to like block me off without a answer there we just go over here no the gold where was the gold door oh there it is open the gold door now i wonder if i take that silver over to the next area there we go break out that crystal way hey, we win sweet i'm yeah i'm curious if that crystal or the key we keep to the next stage so we got stage one we can go to podsworth traveling emporium or we could go to stage two i'm a little curious about what this is so we could get oh we get a speed familiar ah a new customer has arrived welcome to podsworth traveling emporium my name is podsworth and i travel the world in search of rare and valuable artifacts to bring to my customers please take a look at my wares and these wonderful items are truly unforgettable. <laughs> I love the puns. Okay, so we get a speed familiar, which would probably make me faster. I cannot get a healing familiar yet, but we got a fire spell. Cool. Wave a spell or gems. Oh, that's interesting, but we only have 46. Can I buy anything? trying to think here we can get the speed familiar if we wanted to that would leave us with 20 but i'm thinking let's get a fire spell yeah and go ahead and get the speed familiar yeah so you're interested in owning a familiar are you familiars are friendly followers that will boost your abilities when equipped each one is unique so collect them all and pick the best for success are you sure want to pinch yes i do want to purchase that item oh i could upgrade the speed there as well that's cool i like that i really like that so how do i options resume save to title i'm curious as equip familiar how to equip my familiar that's exactly what i was thinking start stage let's do this a little familiar here let's see if we can get as many coins she is moving a lot faster which is good kind of what i expected there 
I am feeling that the analog stick works better than the D-pad, but I feel the D-pad, I want to use the D-pad because it's two-dimensional game, but it doesn't seem to be working as well as the analog stick. But again, you are not confined to any squares, it looks like. So it's really not that big of a deal and maybe even potentially a little helpful here. I'm gonna stay away from that guy. That guy just looks big, mean, and evil. So we've got a couple silver keys we need here. I like this. There's actually quite a bit of depth already in this game with the familiars, the stuff to buy, and then the enemies as well. I, I can't seem to kill that guy, but do I really need to? I'm not sure if this is gonna be like a range thing that I'm gonna to have to hit him from a distance, it looks like. Oh, oh missed him completely. Can I get him? There we go. Oh, I'm all out of, that's not good. I'm all out of magics. I can't shoot anything, obviously. I like how the stuff fades away the over screen fades away when you get there like get in the in that area that's nice i like those guys too those are kind of neat what is this gonna attack the orbs attack the orbs onto the pads to solve the puzzle you can leave the screen oh god I didn't read it quick enough and return to reset the puzzle if you made a mistake okay this looks like a pretty simple one. So we just do boop and boop and those are, yep, there we go. I love that Rubik's Cube thing there. That's hilarious. The door was a Rubik's Cube, awesome. Let's get over here and get some more coinage because coinage is gonna help us out a lot, it looks like, with the upgrades that we can buy. Kind of looking at the puzzle here a little bit. Let's grab what is ever below. This still looks like just a simple one, two here. And I like how they start out with a fairly simple puzzle to get you used to the mechanic. And then they'll probably up it quite a bit once we get a little bit further into the game. But there we go. We flip that, which should switch. Yep, that's exactly what I expected it to do. Oh, we got a treasure chest. Sweet. Let's pick that up and it is a silver key. And the silver key did not carry over. So in the end of the last level, we ended with one silver key. We only have one and we picked that one up right there. So that key did not carry over. Oh, what are these? Oh, ouch. I don't like that. <laughs> I did. That guy surprised me with that little burst there. Okay, it's kind of the eight directions I feel. Yeah. How many? Okay, it's going to take three hits, it looks like. I wonder if my magic and my sword is the same damage. I can't even get him up there. He's like out of my range here. It looks like, oh, there we go. I can get it with my sword. It looks like, but he was like out of my range to hit with my magic. We got a lot of damage there, unfortunately. And run back here to the little save spot. Boop. Heal my heart up. There we go. Now, if we ran all the way back, we could flip that little platform, but I was thinking there might be one in here as well. They're pretty good about having those available to you yeah a little charges me oh i don't like him roll she seems to get stuck a little bit on the corners but i don't know if that's just me or the programming here but i do seem to get stuck a little bit when we're walking through one square like a one square opening like right there it just you have to line it up just right to get there i'm liking this little puzzle game quite much so 
so we have to kill everybody here let's get this big old blue over here ouch so he he looked like he had there was something over here i think yep oh one of those guys okay see the bad thing is he's sitting i think i got him yep there we go like the bad thing he's sitting right behind that which makes it really hard to ouch, see if i hit i can hit him or not because i can't tell where he's at okay so we got two silver keys that's good hit around yeah ouch i rolled right into that one i believe bounce yeah i do like those little trampoline bounce things that's pretty cool come on you do this Ooh, this one's much trickier it looks like we're gonna have to like knock that one that way that one that way and then knock them each individually down it looks like oh yep that worked out it looks like there we go oh we can hit both of them at the same time that's very interesting okay so we got to kill everything and we still need the gold key so let's come back to that because we don't have a gold key yet no need really to kill everything if we can't get through it i have well that might be the gold key right there i have wait can i not oh i have to swipe that's i thought it would unlock immediately i forgot you had to kind of attack the door to unlock it there we go that's our gold key awesome I wonder what's down here. Is this a, been a place we've been? I wonder if it's, I do not recall actually where we've been. I wonder if how like connected it is and how you, how, if you could take shortcuts or if there's one path that is smarter than the other or something like that, I'd be interested kind of to see how that works out let's kill this guy really quick he's a pretty easy guy oh we got like fire too don't we i've completely forgot about that oh i like that that's cool oh there's fire everywhere now okay yikes can i burn down the trees oh but it uses a lot of magic there interesting oh wow not that can we get this guy ah take it easy it does look like it puts out fire so that like around fire when you use the fire thing so that you will have some fire like caught on the ground and you'll be able to do damage to creatures that way as well it looks like there we go we got one more stage done i'm liking this game it's a really nice game and we won again yay so we just basically it looks like there is a boss stage here let's see if we can check the boss stage out and see can we equip a familiar okay that one's already equipped okay star stage i was curious oh so it's straight up right up at the boss oh wow that's not cool okay let's do this Eh, I'm not sure if I like this. Run away. What are you gonna do? Ouch, she just throws little spikes at me. Oh, that was not the right direction for that. Woo! I wonder if... Ow. You're not very nice, boss. I kill all your friends over here. Oh, we're out of magic. Will it come back to me? Okay. Can we just stay away from him and range attack him? Might be a good idea. Because he's kind of oh that's gonna help me you know actually i'm gonna leave that ouch Un i'm low on health he's coming faster now i do know oh gosh i wish i wouldn't do that and it's actually better to keep one of these guys on that way he the little tree things because that way he won't summon more of them if I just 
keep running around here. Bring around the Rosie and keep at least one of these alive. Then he's not going to summon more and I don't have to worry about it. There we go. Ah, oh, we're so close. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was close. Come on, give me another health. Or not health, but magic. I need my magic back. Okay, there we go. We got him here. Oh, I like that. I like the boss stage threw me right in there. That was pretty cool. That was kind of a nice little quick thing that we can get through. There we go. And that is the demo. And I got to say, I'm impressed. I like it. I like the puzzle aspects. Definitely, again, I can't really feel the game title, but I have played top-down puzzle games like that before. Almost a little bit of Zelda influence, maybe, with the square tile set of rooms. But there are some other games that were very much focused on that puzzle aspect other than, you know, more of an adventure, continuing long time adventure, open world kind of like Zelda is, but very good game. I definitely think that you should check it out. There will be a link in the description for the download for this if you would like to check it out. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and bye everybody.